Good evening everyone, I'm Arceus, and welcome back to the wrong room, the Final Fantasy Retrospective Comparison Run. We are currently playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. All those people gone. There was people here earlier and they're gone. He just walked past once and that was it. Like, I thought I'd see him rotating around multiple times, but I guess not. I guess they only walked past once, but only when you're looking at him, because they only did it once I started looking at him. Anyway, they also pushed past, uh, Sonon? Sonon? Did you say your name? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go play a game against Johnny. Ah, don't freaking scare me like that. I'm highly strung. You're trying to kill me? Or... Who the hell are you? Who am I? Someone who doesn't spend all day muttering to themselves in the shadows. Like some kind of Shinra spy. Say what? Me? No. -uh. I was just, you know, thinking about stuff. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like how to bag that sweet, sweet Fort Condor prize money. It's my ticket out of here. <laughs> so you're after the Grandmaster too? I guess. Sorry to burst your bubble, Mister Shadow Lurker, but I'll be the one taking home those spoils of war. Oh. What? Over my dead body, you will. My life's on the line here. I deserve to eat. I deserve to live. No, you don't. We got. We got to win that. We got to win that stuff. All right. So, you know the drill about how this works. He's using Sorcerer Board Two. I believe we do have Sorcerer Board Two. No, we have Sorcerer Board One. Oh, he's got a level two board. Wow, he's actually a lot stronger than we were. Alright. Uh, let's set it out loadout then. His starting ATB is the same as ours. His full ATB is one higher than ours. Speed's about the same, and he's got three magic moves. None of them are healing. All of them could potentially do damage. Okay, he has no red units. So don't bother with blue units. Wow, we're gonna have to change the entire loadout. Yeah, don't bother with uh, blue units at all because he's not gonna be placing any red units, so the blue units are only gonna get decimated. Uh, in this, in that case, he's got a lot of blue units, so we're gonna need red and green, mostly green. We're gonna swap out a lot here. Uh, so the, see, I got Sorcerer Board 1, but the ATB is much worse on that one. So we'll stick with the uh, standard one. Alright. Uh, uh, we need some green ones. So we're going to put our Slug Ray in. I don't have the factory for these ones. So we're going to put a Missile Launcher in. And we'll go with the mon Mono Drive. So we got all, we got four greens. And then, uh, red was the other one, right? Yeah, to beat his Grenader and his Shock Trooper, which should be pretty easy. All of his troops are ground troops, so it's not going to be hard. Uh, let's create an Officer Barracks. And I don't think I need a Hello Trooper, since, uh, none of them are already flying characters. But I don't really need stuff that can hit flying. Unless they have some that hit flying anyway. Uh... It'd be best to throw a shock tripper out just so we got the lower ends covered. Officer Barracks to take care of the elite grenader. And that's it. That's our entire board. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. Let's go. Wait, what's this? What's F3, F4 thing? Oh, it changed the board. Okay. I also changed the loadout as well. Oh, it does. Anyway, we'll stick with this. That's what we're going with. Begin the match. And we don't have to be too tactical early on. This is just like, yeah. I think we should go over here.
He seems to be starting with blue right now. He's got some greens ready. I'm gonna throw... I think the model drive would be a thing to throw in. Let's get a slug ray from right there. This thing's losing health without actually doing anything. Uh, blue's weak to green. I got mostly green guys, so I could probably send in a shock trooper. I'm gonna wait for the officer barracks though. Actually, it's best to place it over here so I can. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's, uh. Oop, back a bit. Bring a mono drive out. Yeah, before he can do anything. Uh, blue again. We're gonna go with Grenada this time. We'll have to pass him. We got two on him. And he's got two on us. Let's go three then. Yeah, all three of my guys are ready to go to their side. Place a missile launcher in just to uh, hold them back from their shooting. And we're going Grenada. And they're holding us back by a lot. Oh, we haven't got any troops that can be placed below behind. the most damage dealt. Oh, he's hit our base directly. What the hell? In that case, I'm bringing a grenade out. And I'll put a monitor drive down. We're going to put a lot into just bringing people out. Slug Ray over here. Not setting any guys down. The grenade down here. It's basically stopping that from targeting as well on our side, on the other side. I'm gonna keep my guys ready to... Fuck right, quick. They win? Yes. I destroyed most of his side. I think, uh... I think if I hadn't damaged his main guy, I would have lost from taking damage to my main thing, which is kind of annoying considering they can hit that at any point in the board and he's just gonna freaking slicer it. Why? No, this can't be. Say it ain't so. Oh, goodbye, fortune. Goodbye, pride. Dude, dramatic. <laughs> well, I'm taking down Midgar a citizen at a time. Hmm? Wait, what'd you say? 
that all of Midgar is gonna suffer the same fate. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, these guys are walking through the thing again. That was that guy. That was what I was on about before. I'm not 100% sure that's a guy. Oh, yeah. It is. Okay, never mind. Alright. So. We have one more target. Who we have not yet met. Yet met? Yet met yet? He's over here. Shinra's not just going to stand by and let a third reactor be destroyed. Uh, one second. Before I go and face you. I just want to go up to the happy turtle guy. I believe we got some condor coins from doing those matches. If it isn't my favorite ninja, good to see you. Uh, so we're gonna get the sentry ray ranged. I don't know if I needed that for the last one or whatnot. But that's another one down. Find yourself with a few spare coins. Remember old snapper. Right. This game is really All right, so we're gonna go do stuff. Of course, we're gonna get this one. Where is it? That might actually be the guy who was supposed to give us the so board. when your opponent leads with this, you respond with this? This game is insane. Hey there, suit. How's that conversation with yourself working out? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. My daughter's been dying the actual to play this game, and I promised table. to teach her. But first, I have to teach myself. That game wouldn't happen to be Fort Condor, would it? If you want, I'll help you figure stuff out. You, you will? Oh, thanks. That'd be a great help. Huh. That was nice of her. She's like a Shinra middle manager, dude. All right. This time, it is a lot of bow characters. Uh, again, no flying characters. Watch out for that guard dog. All right. The guard dog is going to fight off anything group. Well, actually, no. It doesn't even fight anything. Like, literally. I don't even know why it's got a sword thing to its thing. Because it doesn't actually fight anything. It just goes for the towers. So, it will go for the officer barracks or whatever else is uh, there for that. I don't think I got anything it, it could destroy specifically. Oh, it might go for the missile launcher. Okay, so it does go for a few things. All right. So, we don't want green, really. Uh, especially since blue is like one trooper. Uh, I think we want to focus on red. Because only the riot trooper can beat it. Right? So we want to go mostly red. So we got our officer barracks, which is great. That's, that's actually what we want. Uh, we're going to swap the grenade out for... Uh, you know what? Let's throw a guard dog down. We'll swap the slug ray out for... I think a hello troop. Uh, we'll take, we'll keep one of these things. Um, we don't want the guard dog attacking one. So we don't want the missile launcher. What we'll take instead... Is a grenade. They do a lot of damage in an area. And then for the final one, yeah, because we don't want Mardra. Mm, actually, Mardra might be a good choice. Riot Trooper is going to attack red. We need somebody to take down red, which is blue. No, wait. He's going to attack red. We're going to take down blue. That was what was to take down blue. Oh, we need to take down red. Red, is, red, is, take down red. We need blue. We need a blue one the guard dog's going to stop at. Which would be our S-Gun prototype. Because we don't want to go for another riot barracks. Because we don't need the riot troopers. Right now. Uh, yeah, so the guard dog will stop at that. As will also stop at their weapons. But uh, also, we can tear straight through them. So we're good. And the grenade is strong enough to do quite a bit of damage. And will not be stopped by the other guy. And he can do a lot to the riot trooper, I think. I think.
Yeah. I think that's a good one. He's got the assassin board, so it's got a faster recharge speed, but uh, lower sets of ATBs. I kind of want the assassin board. It's good. <laughs> he has fire and haste. I have fire and healing. Begin the match. So it might be a bit more difficult. Going with that. I'm gonna go with Hella Trooper. And Shock Trooper. Okay, the Shock Trooper ignored them. Okay. Guard dog over here and have him run like that. So he didn't get affected by what that thing just did. Knowing what they've got for me, I'm pricing our officer barracks. Damn, too late. Meant to heal, hit the damage instead. Uh, we took out a shock trip as well. We gotta keep the, the enemies coming. This is just gonna keep creating until it loses all its health. Now I'm going to let loose the dog. He's only going to go after buildings, so he's going to go straight for that thing. Potentially destroying it right there. There we go. Oh, we beat it. I didn't even get my... I didn't even get my armory. I was waiting to put my armory down. Oh, we beat him so fast once they got going. He only placed green guys down. He didn't try to block or any or rush me or anything. Jeez. He has more practice. Well, what do you know? I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Starting to get the hang of what? Losing? Losing on purpose, to be precise. Oh. If I can let my daughter win without her suspecting, that to me is as good as a victory. What happens if you lose to her? <laughs> I know, I know. But if it'll make her happy. He had a faster charge. <gasps> I got assassin board one. That's actually pretty good. Because that's got a double speed recharge. That's pretty good. Uh, now we've upgraded to rank two characters. Uh, if we... That's not the map. If we look at the map, we can go fight the rank twos next. Uh, which you'll find all in the town area. I don't even know why I went further beyond it. Uh, so there's one over here. And that's Jesse. Who was done with our shit before, remember? Uh, and over here, I believe if I'm right. Yeah, it's got question marks, but I believe it's uh, past the red line guy. Um, looks like there's only two of them for this. Well, there was more. If I'm right about who is in the third ranked one, I guess it makes sense. But yeah, these are our two next opponents for the game. Uh, but we won't deal with that just yet. What we're going to do is we're going to continue this main story again. Now that we've uh, done a little bit of this uh, mini gaming. We don't want to spend too much time on just doing mini game stuff. Uh, plus I need to prepare for it. And I think I can get more stuff later on than I can get now. Uh, let me just check to see if he's updated his stock, or... Yes, okay. So as you get to the second rank, he updates and grabs your... Oh. 
Yeah, so you, you can now buy, buy better stuff. That's just the range shock trooper or the slug facility. Or the sentry gun. Oh, it's one coin per. No, it's two. One stock of each. Ah. I don't need the battalion board one. I don't think that's any, that great. Uh, and honestly, the sorcerer board two, I'm not I'm not interested in that. I've got the assassin board one. Because the assassin board one is just the speed increase. You know. So I'm actually going to get the enemy stuff. I'm going to grab a shock trooper range. And I'm going to grab a sentry gun. We gotta get more coins though. Come back anytime. You soft shell are always Uh I don't remember who else sells stuff, but we're gonna go talk to uh wait, hold on. Have we got more money? We have three thousand. Is that not that's not enough for anything. Let's talk to her. You guys all set? Yeah, let's 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 say we're all set. Let's go. Okay. Streets are kind of a maze, so stay close. Alright, we're staying close. So now where are we headed? To pick up your IDs. There's no way to get topside without them. But right. I thought TJ was getting our high Ds. What happened with that? High Ds. Yes, but those are different. It takes more than one ID, or even two, to survive in this town. Ah, crazy. Don't forget, Midgar was built by Shinra for Shinra. Those Makes tyrants! Sense. Put the claws away, boss. At least while we're in Shinra territory. Good point. Whoa. Yeah. So, Yuffie. What do you think of the Undercity? Way too crowded. I can't stand it. Ugh, How can anyone live here? I gotta agree with you about the smell, but you get used to it quick enough. And the crowds yep. stop bothering you eventually. The place can grow on you if you give it a chance. Uh, yeah, maybe. wait a second. Are you actually saying you like it here? I thought you hated uh... it. Midgar isn't the enemy. Shinra is. I know W's don't really see the distinction, but we do. W's? Um, what was that stuff on the news? About a reactor blowing up and all. No way, that was an accident. It had to be Avalanche. Shh. Sorry. Uh, what's up? Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. Oh, here we go. Wow, look who it is. Loving your work. So how many reactors is that now? Wait, where's Cloud? <laughs> yep, this is what happened Wait, after um. You what? After the he reactor blew okay, up, the though, second one. Right? Well, of course he will. A little fall ain't gonna stop a hard ass yeah. like him. So he's got. He'll he's currently with Aerith at the moment. For long, you mark my words. Yeah, I guess he will. Now, hmm. can we talk about President Shithead? Spouting all that crap about us? That lying son of a bitch! Working mm. for Wu Tai! On track, mind it! Barrett! Speaking of sons of bitches, I heard that Walmart's very own Don Corneo has his stooges out looking for you. Huh? Ah, uh, that that's so? the thing that Cloud prevented, too. Don't got time for no low-level mobsters. We got Shinra in our sights. Yep, there's an interest between that. Tifa, you and I both know this is far from over. Right? Right? Might as well get some rest while we still can. It's interesting to get this perspective because you don't get this in the original game. But the mm -hmm. aftermath of after cloud falling. That would have been cool to do that during that you part, I guess. Do this during I think that I part. Am gonna look into this. And switch back and forth between the two stories, but I couldn't remember where it took place at what there. point. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, we gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Should keep our distance. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> the irony that he doesn't know. Weird. Ooh, 
something's keeping you out. I wonder what that could possibly be. Oh, I'm glad I went to have a look. They couldn't care less about collateral damage. Keeping her out of the story. So what's wrong with that? Sounds good to me. We're not out to blow Midgar up or tear it down. We want to save it from Shinra. Look around. Nine out of ten of the people living here are innocent bystanders. We can't Still level their home to take down one company. Well, that company almost leveled our home, and they've got to learn their lesson. Yeah, I get that. Gotta yeah. admit, I'm surprised you agreed to Oh, we're finally coming us. out here. We're just doing what we think is necessary to build a brighter future. That's all there is to it. In other words, you're working with us so we don't work with your old buddies, knowing what would happen if we did. Uh, can we table this for later, maybe? Not sure now's the best time for heavy topics. Yeah, mm. couldn't agree more. Consider it tabled. Okay. So, no, basically the idea is they're working with root size so that they don't work with the splinter cell and cause even more damage. Um, not that Barrett would work with them anyway, but, uh... Maybe because he's, uh... Uh, what you call it? The what's the word? Egocentric. He doesn't want to look like he's working for somebody else. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's this So, scene. what exactly does this ultimate materia do? I'm guessing you have big plans for it? Of course. Like after we steal it? Well, the more materia you have, the stronger you are, right? So once we've got the ultimate materia, we'll be stronger than anyone. I guess you will. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome! And not just that. By sneaking into Shinra HQ and snatching their most prized possession from under their noses, not only will we deal a massive blow to their morale, That's true. but we'll prove to them that while Wu Tai might be down, we're not out. Is that the gist of it, boss? It sure is! Yeah, sure. That's that's exactly what I was... You, you think again? <laughs> <laughs> See that one? <laughs> well, hello there, hot stuff. How'd you like a shot at the big time? <laughs> With those looks, I guarantee you're golden. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? Ready to be queen of the Undercity? How did... Okay, hey, that's not on purpose. <laughs> Kid doesn't need to hear this. you a good girl and cover your ears, okay? <laughs> You'd be living and working in the most luxurious residence in all you of You want me to be one of Cornelia's brides, is that it? Which makes you a person of influence, right? Oh, so you know your stuff. But I'd say I'm more of a helping hand. So why don't you help me help you? <laughs> Let's get going. What are you doing? Get your hands <laughs> off me! Now don't go playing hard. <laughs> oh. Beat him up. Who can do that? No, you don't, because I'm an adult. <laughs> also, I'm pretty hot stuff myself, thank you very much. <laughs> sure, whatever helps you sleep at night, little girl. Are you ready to throw down now? Okay. Grown-ups table, be my guest. Yeah, you go. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. All of you are now scattered. God, you're an asshole. Fuck her off with that freaking damage. You ready for this? Alright, I'm going to... Did I move Chakra? Apparently I did. There we go! Guys. 
Last guy. Could be easy on his own. Just juggling for a bit. Sure, give it. Chiftonian omelet. Oh. just fell right into our lap. She did? <laughs> Goods under the hood, chunk in the trunk, and down for a bumpy ride. Sorry, ladies, but after careful consideration, we've decided to go with a more qualified applicant. Let's go! See you around. Now, who ends up going from Sector 7 to, <laughs> to Walmart? Can you guess? those creeps anyway don corneo's talent scouts they'll say and do just about anything to get unsuspecting girls back to the don's mansion i thought it looked seedy guess you'd have to be a scumbag to build a place like that oh ho. and how do you know what it looks like i saw well, it when i was scouting the area we will never go heal uh what we're gonna do we'll, we'll continue this in the next oh she's going she's going He's going. All right. We'll continue this in the next episode. Uh, yes. Obviously, they're on about Tifa. That guy was on about Tifa, basically. That's an interesting description of Tifa. <laughs> anyway. Thanks so much for watching. But for now, we're done here. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> I, I'm trying to remember the words he said. <laughs> it's crazy.